Hey all, Rusty RV TV, welcome. We are just leaving Tyson Wells. There's the game store on the left. That was fun going through that uh, Christmas uh, craft show. Seeing a lot of old friends, don't see too often. Very, very good. You know, a lot of them people do a lot of good. Check out all the water here. Look at this. It hadn't rained in two days here. And look. The wash is still trickling off, still running a little bit. Shows you the amount of water that came down here Thanksgiving. Because that was what? Wednesday night, the day before, well, the eve of Thanksgiving. We can see that thing was a raging river. They even had uh, water rescues. I don't think around here, but down in Phoenix, they had several water rescues. And People still don't learn. They still camp in the desert. In the washes. Can't do that. Stay to higher ground. Okay, we're heading down Q and Let's do a loop through town and we'll run out. Maybe we'll fly the drone up by the LTVAs. And then I gotta head up back up to Parker. So we'll stop, maybe check out Plumosa Road too. Okay, on the left there is Desert Garden. Don't see too many in there yet. A few vendors are setting up. After Christmas, that place will be packed. A lot of traffic still from the Thanksgiving holiday. That'll keep going. But look how clean everything is. Boy, a rain like that just washes down the desert. Much needed rain, too. Pretty mountains, blue sky. Alrighty, well, up here is Love's Truck Stop. We're going to make it right here. Then we'll cut across to I-10. What's the price? We're at 280... Let's say 285. You know, up in Parker, I paid 270. Alright, here's our world famous exit 17. Probably the most congested little interchange uh, around. See that truck? They can barely make the turns here. Why they didn't fix that a couple years? You know, they remodeled this whole thing except for this area, the bridge. <laughs> oh well. Engineers. Okay, we'll go up here. We're going to make a right on Main Street. See how many flags are flying. Straight off was the old main event, which is no longer, no more vendors there. They're all closed up. Okay, here we go. This is Main Street. And you got all the fast food places. That blue building on the left, there's American Custom Tire. Stop in and say hi to Dave. They do have uh, ATV tires and parts too. On the left is Steve Hardy's. There's the Chamber of Commerce. Pilot Truck Stop. And a bunch of little shops. This is considered a downtown area of Quartzite. Coming up, there's uh, the vendors of Main Street. Check out, look for the yellow tank. See that huge yellow tank? You can't miss it. That's the vendors of Main Street. You got Ken's Discount Grocery. Stop in and say hi to Ken. Also, KMV Tool. All right, well, let's keep on trucking. We'll go down to Central and then we'll uh, head south out by the campgrounds. Big sign back there said bicycle rental. That's new. Okay, on the right is the campground. You got B10 campground. You can tent camp there. They do allow tents. And just past that will be 88 Shades. Look at that old wooden building on the left. It's been like that forever since I've been coming here. 
There's 88 shades on the right. Then coming up will be which one? Holiday Palms. Right there. Looks like they just added a little tennis court up front. That place is always busy, very popular. What you do get there, though, is traffic noise. And here's Tyson Wash. The raging Tyson Wash. Now, look at all the vendors on the left. That's the high ollie, and that's where you find the true antiques and the, all the old rusted stuff. Okay, here's Central Avenue. Let's go ahead. We're going to make a right. Let's shoot on out past the LTVAs and I'll fly the drone out there. Alright, we're off and running. You know, you can dry camp off to the right. I think they charge like five bucks a night in that big lot. Years ago, that place was packed. Anymore, you don't see that many that camp there. More and more people camp in the desert. When I first started coming here 15 years ago, you couldn't get an RV park uh, site. People camping in the desert was more minimal. Now it's reversed. Now more and more people, probably because solar is so popular. Okay, there's Kewen, there's Tyson, Prospectors. Let's keep on trucking. Since solar is more popular, uh, more and more people are out in the desert. Now see there on the right, see all those rigs? That's the... Uh, RV dealer for the big tent. Right there's the entrance to the big tent where that water tank is. Okay, on the right, that's the start of La Posa West. On the left is La Posa North. And you can see a few rigs. Let's head on past here. Let's go on out. I'll go out past uh, the other two La Posa South and Tyson Wash. We'll fly the drone and we'll head for Dome Rock. Or not Dome Rock, uh, Plumosa. Gonna head up towards Parker. Yeah, look at all the puddles. You can still see puddles, and it hadn't rained in a couple days. I bet all this was running with water. Oh, yeah, look at the big puddle there. Yep. That was uh, quite a gully washer that came through the whole region. Okay, we're coming on it. To the right will be Tyson Wash LTVA and to the left is La Posa South. That's where all the water and sewer dumps and all that are. That's the most popular one, right here to the left. Okay, what I'm gonna do, let me just go up past I'm going to get turned around, and I'll fly the drone. We'll get an aerial shot. So, let me get turned around here, and I shall return. Okay. This looks good as any. Get off the road good. Power lines don't seem too bad. Looks like a good place. All right, drone time. Up we go. Okay, we're at the far end of Quartzite to the south. There it is, there's La Posa South. Look at them all. In another month, it'll be a sea of them. That's why I was talking about more and more people camp out here because they got the solar than in the RV parks. RV parks are hurting a little bit in Quartzsite. Okay, that's looking straight down 95 towards Yuma. What a pretty day. Look at that. Then we'll swing around. There's a few of them out there. Now, this is the Tyson Wash straight out, all the way out. That's uh, Rainbow Acres. And here's Tyson Wash. 
Tyson Walsh is probably my favorite because it's the least crowded. I don't know why. You take this one over here, La Posa South. It is packed. Of course, they got the water and the sewer dumps. But Tyson Wash is usually the least busy. And you can see way out, there's La Posa North. And then on the left-hand side, La Posa West. There you go. There's your aerial view of the LTVAs. Right around the 1st of December. Come on out. Come on down. Enjoy Quartzsite. All right, let's get landed. Let's uh, head north. We're going to head up towards Parker. All right, here we go. In case you're not familiar, LTVA, long-term visitor areas. They are paid. You got to pay to stay here. It's 180 bucks for a little over six months. And they do have water and uh, sewer dumps. They also have uh, vaulted toilets, so there are restrooms at all four sites. The only one that has the water and stuff is the one right here to the right, which is La Posa South. So if you're staying at the other ones, you either got to move your rig or get one of those tanks that haul water for you. Plus you have to go get propane and all that. People love it anymore. The groups. I think last year I was told there was over 500 different groups that camped out here in the deserts through all the different areas. Not only out here, but uh, the dispersed areas too. Okay, right here to the right will be the La Posa North. To the left is La Posa West. Why they named them like that, I don't know. See where that big semi is right here? There's the entrance. To the right, and then one to the left. Now these are super close. These get jammed up too because you're right next to all the showgrounds and a lot closer to town. Get really good cell reception until you get a million people here, then it drops down to nothing. See a lot of rigs, they like parking along the road. Now, this is a very busy highway, very noisy. Okay, now see on the left, right there, that yellow sign there, that's where the big tent is, right there. That's why people like, they can just walk to it. And you can also walk right up here to Tyson Wells. Now in the heyday on the right hand side that, where you see those trailers, that's Rice Ranch. That used to be extremely popular, but last few years that has really dwindled. People will camp there during the shows, that's about it. Alrighty, let's go across. This is uh, the overpass. We're on Central Avenue. Crossing over Interstate 10. But now that's the Thanksgiving's behind us, uh, quartzite, it's going to start cranking up a little bit. Christmas, after Christmas, that's when it explodes. You'll see vendors set up right here in the lot on the left-hand corner. There's a windshield guy that'll set up there. Then right off to the right, there's that satellite. You guys, if you need a dish or direct, you can get it there. Alrighty. There's the VFW on the right, if you're a veteran. They got dinners and a bar, everything. They really uh, treat the veterans well here. OK, 
Okay, well, we're just going past RV Park Row. Quite a few of them out this way. Be sure to check out my video. I did a special video about RV parks. There's over 70 of them in this town, believe it or not. In and about the town. 70 RV parks. So you can easily find. Plus there's private properties that you can rent. There's that big one there on the left. That's the newest park that I know of. It's, what does it call it? Quail. Quail Run. A lot of people like that one. Brand new. Let's go up to Plumosa Road. I'll fly the drone and we'll call this a video. Alrighty, we're getting up. This is uh, Tyson Street. This is the last street as we're leaving. I see that building with the flag off to the right. There is a quartzite fire department. They got medical services there, the care flight, uh, helicopter services there too. Okay, now check this out. We're just about a mile past the fire department. See this green sign in this turn lane? To the left, you can bring your trash here for free. Quartzite does not charge. You can be out of town or that's a transfer station. So if you're out in the desert and need a place to put your trash, just bring it right into town. They got hours posted. Call the chamber. It's like four days a week they're open. And it's free. There's no charge. So bring your trash out here and get rid of it. Don't leave it in the desert. Okay, right up here to the right is uh, High Jolly. The High Jolly, uh, that's dispersed. That's 14-day camping. They do have a host there. It's right there on the right. Extremely popular. That place will be packed too. All right, we're almost up here to Plumosa. Now this out here is my favorite. Of all the camping areas, BLM, I like this one the best. You're a little farther out of town, very scenic. You can see the stars at night. The road noise really quiets down. You got great cell phone reception. And it's a long stretch. Let's see, make a right. I'm just going to fly the drone from down here because I got to get on up to Parker. Let me pull in here. And it looks pretty muddy. Go between the mud puddles. Cool. Alright, I'll launch the drone. We'll take a quick look. Then I gotta get on up to Parker. Look how flat it is here too. But we're at the very, that's uh, 95 right there. So we're at the very end of Plumosa 95. go no wind yet there's some happy campers that's looking straight down Plumosa right there see them dotted it you it goes down this dispersed area here goes for I think five miles on both sides of the road it's narrow but very long. There's looking straight back at Quartzite. Then all this land over here, I think this is state land on this side. Look at the water down in that wash yet. Look at that. That that flooded the road there. See the barricade on the highway? They had that closed. But about where those campers are, that's the line as far back as you can go, I think. And then straight down there, right there is your host. Directly below us by that brown sign there. That's where you get your permit. Okay, well, there's your look. 
There's the LTVA's little look at Plumosa around town. And get landed and get back on the road. Okay. The journey continues. Talk soon.